what's new, what are the bugs which have been fixed and what are the bugs which have not been fixed in the latest January 2022 update of Android 12 for the Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video. And in this video, let us go ahead and talk about what are the new features, what are the bugs which have been fixed, and what are the bugs which have not been fixed in the latest January 2022 update for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, it did take Google almost like two and a half months to roll out a proper update with bug fixes for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, and yes, I am in full agreement with the fact that MKBHD tweeting about him not being able to recommend Pixel 6 Pro to anybody did play a role in Google rolling out this update earlier than expected because in their initial release for the January patch for Pixel 5, 4 and all the other Pixels they had mentioned that the 6 and the 6 Pro will get this January patch in late January but we got it in mid January and what leads me to believe that MKBHD's tweet played an important role is the fact that they rolled out the update on a Friday. Generally, security patches are released on Mondays and the fact that Google rolled out the update on a Friday right before a weekend says something about the impact that tweet had on the Android team. First up, let us talk about the bugs which have been fixed. So you should see better 5G signals and calls. Those of you who had the December update were having calling issues, those should also have been fixed. Now, what about battery drain on 5G? For that, we have got mixed reactions. So it has been good for some and it is the same for others. Now, do note that there's only so much that Google can fix because in my personal opinion, this is an issue with the Samsung modem that Google is using. Next up with respect to the fingerprint scanner. So again, here and also we have mixed reactions and for some it is better and faster. For me personally, it is definitely better than the December or say the November update. But is it perfect? No, it is not perfect. And again, the underlying issue here is the fact that Google decided to use a first gen under display fingerprint scanner which in my humble opinion again is a total no-no on a flagship device. Then with respect to your call screen and hold for me those features are back and the same applies for the feature of calling your emergency services. There was an issue wherein with Microsoft Teams installed you would not be able to call your emergency services. That issue has also been fixed and the same thing applies for your issue of auto rotate wherein auto rotate would not work. That issue has also been fixed with this latest build and those of you who have Wi-Fi drops or the Wi-Fi connection was not stable you were not getting good speed that is another bug which has been fixed with the January 2022 update for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro then we can talk about the bugs which have not been fixed so there is a bug where and if your battery dies then the fingerprint sensor stops working and then you have to perform a factory reset for it to work again that issue has not been addressed the same applies for your grainy front camera preview on the 6 pro i think and bluetooth issues of aac playback along with your ldac 990 on the sony xm 4s those two issues haven't been addressed either adaptive brightness is still a bit wonky and 120 to 60 frame drops for the Pixel 6 Pro wherein you are at 120 you have forced 120 it all of a sudden drops to 60 for no valid reason that issue also hasn't been addressed in this specific update. Next up let us talk about the new features which you will see with this January 2022 update as compared to the November build. Now those of you who have seen my video about the new features on the December 2021 update for the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro 
feel free to skip this part and you can jump over to the conclusion so the first change you will notice is when you boot your device you will notice that the google logo now has material u theme then if you go into styles and wallpapers you will notice that for the very same wallpaper you will have different material u color options over here so on the left hand side of your screen right now you will see the color options which i get with the november update and on the right hand side we do have the color options for material u which i am getting with this specific january update so yes google has made some changes to the material u palette then if you go into change wallpaper and let us say over here i choose any wallpaper you will notice that the widget which i have on my screen right now is the clock widget and you can see that widget in real time on this specific preview on the previous november build you would just get loading over here so the widget preview has also been fixed next up you will notice that if you access your quick settings on the top left you have your time and your date previously you did not have the time when the quick settings panel was not fully expanded then if i tap on this internet tile you will notice that this new pane at the bottom which has opened for wi-fi has gotten a material u update as well so the toggle has changed and the style of the done button has also changed and another thing you will notice is that the quick settings panel is still there in the background on the previous build of november 2021 the quick settings panel would disappear as soon as you selected the quick setting internet tile then another change you will notice is that from your lock screen you should now be able to toggle off your wi-fi and toggle it back on as well previously this was not possible next up if you go into home settings you will notice that this page over here has also gotten a material u update the toggles have changed and it does adhere to the new material u colors of your specific wallpaper then if you try to access your google feed you will notice that the wallpaper has a blur and zoom effect this effect was not present in the november 2021 build Next up, if I open my application drawer and here and if I search for say settings, you will notice that besides the settings, I have another option for search. If I tap on this search, it is now taking me to the search option wherein I can search within the settings. And this is the specific option which you can access from your settings page as well then if you go into settings and we can head over to the display section herein you will notice that for auto rotate screen the toggle is now on the main page previously you would have to tap on auto rotate screen and enable auto rotate screen now the toggle is on the main page you only have to go inside to enable the toggle for enabling face detection and another important thing over here is that the quick setting tile for auto rotate reflects whether face based auto detection is on or it is turned off so if i turn this toggle off now access it there it is you can see it no longer tells me that face based auto rotate is enabled then we are still in the display section go into colors here and you will notice that the images have changed previously we had only one static image now we have three different images and you can swipe through all of these three to see the color change then if you go into the now playing settings so let us go into settings and then we can go into the sound and vibration option here and we have now playing as long as you have now playing enabled go into now playing history and bam there it is you can see that we now have a favorites option now once you tap on this favorites you of course will see your favorites but before that we do need to add some songs to your favorites let us do that you can tap on this heart icon then go into the favorites section and bam there it is these are my favorites from my now playing history and if you go back into your gesture settings by going into settings system let us go into gestures and herein you need to look for the option of press and hold power button now if you have enabled this to hold for assistant then with this latest january update you have gotten a slider to configure your press and hold duration as long as you are using the power button to invoke your google assistant and there it is peeps that is what was new 
what are the bugs which have been fixed what are the bugs which have not been fixed with this latest january 2022 update for the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro now google has made some inroads into the bug fixing but again in my humble opinion these bugs shouldn't have been there right from the beginning you are launching a flagship device it should be as bug free as possible and some of those bugs like not being able to call the emergency services not being able to place a phone call excessive battery drain on 5g i mean those are things which should not happen on a flagship device but in the end it is what it is